Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be planning the week of July 23rd through July 29th and this is going to be completely memory planned. I'm actually really behind on my planning right now because it's already um, Thursday of the following week and so I have all of my plans and everything for this last week written out on these little um, post-it notes which is what I usually do when I memory plan. So for this week I have a really fun kit from Soda Pop Studio. It's really summery and I love the colors because they're kind of bright but also pastel. I don't know if that makes any sense. We have a sheet of full boxes with a heart checklist. We have the heart check flag, some icons, lots of really cute text stickers, a movie marquee, and then icons here. And then the last sheet has the bottom washi. We have sidebar trackers, quarter boxes, and then half boxes. So I just picked up either the mini kit or um, I picked up these sheets a la carte. I can't remember what option I chose. Um, um, but I only picked up these three sheets and so I will be pulling in quite a lot of stickers from my collection just to make things fit because I do like to use more half boxes and quarter boxes than are in the kit. As usual, I'm going to lay down the bottom washi first and it looks like this week I will have to trim a little bit off of the washi because um, the it's just a little bit too thick. So I'm going to do that really quick and then I will um, let you guys know what I do as I go along. So while I'm putting down the bottom washi, I just want to let you guys know that this week was not very eventful for me. Um, we didn't do very much at all. We tried to stay at home to save money because we um, had just come back from Vegas and we're leaving for another trip the following week. So we really tried to eat our meals at home and just try to save money between our two trips. So this plan with me might be a little less interesting or fun than they usually are. Um, but anyways, after I put down the washi, I moved on to my sidebar. I decided for this week that I wanted to write in my own quote just because I didn't feel like the quote that came with the kit had anything to do with my week. I wanted something about summer since it was still summer break. So I used my Tombow Fudenosuke pen to hand letter in a summer state of mind, which is the quote I decided to use because that's kind of more of how I felt this week. After placing down the full box, I then put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. I think all the glitter headers that I use this week are from Mandy Dreams. And then I used the habit tracker to track working out. Um, underneath that, I originally put down this quarter box that I found in my collection. Um, and I used a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk on top of that to track all of my happy memories this week. And later on, I think I do switch it out because that orange was a little glaring. Um, at the bottom, I used the Monday through Sunday tracker for my dinners. And this is where I switched out the orange quarter box for a flag that was also from my leftovers collection. And that just was a little bit less intense. And then for my dinners, I found this quarter box from a Shop Jessica Hearts sheet and um, also used a meal icon from Bubba Bear Studios. Next, I put down some flags to cover up the flags of the Erin Condren, and this kit actually did come with those flags, and they fit perfectly, so that was nice. I didn't have to try to find a way to cover those. Um, then moving to Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and then I used a quarter box, or maybe a third box, that was from my leftover stash with a pillow sticker from Sweet Bean Plans, because I wanted to remember that on this Monday, we were still in Vegas, and so I put down Waking Up in Vegas, which I think is a Katy Perry song, maybe. Um, but anyways, first thing in the morning we did was get a Fat Tuesday, which are these humongous drinks. And so that's how we started off our morning. Very typical uh, Vegas breakfast, I guess. And that drink sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. We went to the pool that day and the hotel that we were staying at had a lazy river, which was so nice. So we basically spent like the entire afternoon in the lazy river, just floating around and enjoying being in the water because it was like 106 degrees outside. Next, I put down a full box, and that night we went and watched the Cirque du Soleil Ka show, which was at MGM where we were staying. It was really, really amazing. So I pulled in this Buddy the Unicorn sticker from Ruby Trev that I thought perfectly captured how I felt the entire time. Um, and then after the show, we went and got dinner at Wolfgang Puck. So I put down a spaghetti sticker from Plans with Vanessa because I did have pasta, and that was pretty much it for the night. So I moved on to Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday, I started by using a Bill Do sticker, but I covered up the bill due part with a pack sticker from Laban Forest because we packed and checked out of our hotel that morning. Um, then we went and got some Thai food before we hit the road. We always love to stop at this place called Lotus of Siam and it's really, really good. So I put that on a quarter box with a noodle sticker from a happy blue tree. 
I then put down a full box and used a car sticker from Sticker Blush to mark that we drove home. And then we got home and I always like to mark getting home from a trip with like a cat sticker because we are reunited with our cat. So that Maru the Marshmallow with the cat is from Paper and Milk. We then went and got some groceries because we had pretty much nothing to eat at home. Um, so I used a quarter box that I found in my collection with a grocery sticker from the Sparkly Studio. Um, I marked down what we had for dinner. The utensil sticker is from Paper and Milk as well. At the bottom, I put down a to-do header with a two heart checklist to mark that I filmed, edited, and then also journaled in my Hobonichi. Um, so I put down a film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams to mark that. I then realized that I forgot to put down a glitter header on Tuesday, so I removed the to-do header and then put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams instead. Moving on to Wednesday, I started by putting down a today header there at the top, and then I used a three heart checklist. I just cut up the one that came in the kit to mark some things that I got done that morning, and I was having a really hard time writing on the coil because um, this planner is new, and so the planner has not been fattened up yet, so it was really hard to write next to the coil. Um, but anyways, I put down a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji like YouTuber sticker to mark that I did my voiceover, and then I did cook lunch that day, so to mark that, I used a Cooking Girl sticker from Happy dia stickers i then moved to the bottom because i knew i wanted to place a full box at the bottom um, so i didn't want to forget and i did that first so i knew how much room i had left for everything else um, we went to trader joe's to get some groceries so i put down a another grocery sticker from the sparkly studio and then moving back to the bottom i just wanted to note that i planned and did journaling in my hobonichi that night so i put down this me time sticker from the kit as well as a planning girl sticker from paper princess plans at this point, I realized that the Me Time sticker didn't really stand out very much against the background. So I placed it on a half box that I found in my collection and that half box has like a white center. So I just cut around the Me Time sticker so that there's a little bit more of a border around it and that made it stand out just a little bit more. I put down a glitter header on top of the full box and then I placed down a half box, but I decided that I needed to um, scoot everything a little bit because I didn't have enough room to mark the things that I wanted to So eventually I placed down the glitter header on the full box instead so that I could save some space um, And then I used a little things with a shoe sticker from paper and milk to mark that I worked out um, on Wednesday Which was nice. Then I also cooked for dinner. Well, I didn't really cook I made some uh, spring rolls which pretty much requires very minimal cooking But I wanted to use the girl sticker there instead So I put down a crock pot sticker from sweet bean plans on um, um, for lunch and then I moved that cooking girl sticker from happy dia stickers to the half box hopefully that all made sense then moving on to Thursday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with a little heart location tag sticker. I think those are from Sunset Sticker Co. Um, to mark that we had a guest over in the morning, and then um, I had the leftover spring rolls for lunch, so I put that on a little things. I then uploaded my plan with me, so I used this cute little cat upload sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper, and that plan with me script sticker I think is from K Stickers Co. I then put down a half box with a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shara to mark that I watched YouTube for most of the afternoon because again, I wasn't really doing much this week. Um, we did go out to see a movie that day. I went to see Mamma Mia 2, which was amazing. I totally bawled like at the end. Um, but anyways, my boyfriend went to see a different movie that he wanted to see. So that actually worked out really nicely. Originally, I used the movie marquee from the kit, but I wasn't able to fit the whole like movie on the marquee because I wrote too big and I didn't plan for it so then I found another movie marquee in my collection and um, tried to write a little bit smaller this time so that I could fit the whole title of the movie afterwards we got some jack-in-the-box curly fries because I was super hungry after the movie um, the fry sticker is from paper and milk and this part was a bit of a mess because originally I had written jack-in-the-box with like hyphens in between but I think that's like for the toy so the actual restaurant doesn't have the hyphen so I like took it out and then just decided to rewrite it all together. And then we met up with our friends at a brewery, so I put that on a half box. The beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. While we were at the brewery, somebody brought In-N-Out for us, which was super nice and super tasty. Um, that In-N-Out sticker is from Plans with Vanessa, and yeah, so I had fries twice that day, which was delicious.
On Friday, I put down a full box at the top. The cat laptop sticker is from Raspberry Designs, and I use that to mark that I just binged on YouTube for a while. Then I used a quarter box with a sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I got a call from someone at work and they wanted to move my schools this year. So um, I used that to mark that I got some bad news. It turned out it was all fine. They um, decided to keep me at my school, so it was fine, but it was just like really stressful um, not knowing what the final decision was for some time. Um, then I organized my office, which was much needed. It had been a mess for such a long time. To mark organizing my office, I used this like bird's eye view um, sticker of a desk from Toffee Bananas. I know there's a term for that kind of photo, but I can't remember it right now. I'm like experiencing a brain fart. Um, and then I also used a scallop to write that I organized my office. Then I did a workout. So I used the workout text sticker from the kit. And that workout cat is from Jesse James Design Co. I then FaceTimed my parents for a bit, so I used a laptop from the kit and then wrote FaceTime parents. I didn't like the laptop being on the right hand side because it was right underneath the other like workout icon, so I switched it around. And then at the bottom, we just watched a TV show for the rest of the night, so I put that on a little things. Then moving on to the weekend, I found this really pretty floral washi from my collection. I actually can't remember where I found this washi. Um, I think it was maybe from Michael's or something, but anyways, I put a strip of that at the top and then I layered the weekend banner under it. I didn't want the weekend banner to not have a background, but I also didn't have any stickers from the kit that I could use. Um, so I thought that worked out really nicely. I had a really lazy morning, so I used a, a sleeping mask sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that. And then I used a strip of washi, or I'm sorry, that's a quarter box, with an edit sticker from MJ and Hope um, to mark that I edited my videos that day. I used a to-do header on top of a full box to mark the places that I went to that day to just do some errands and get groceries and stuff. The shopping girl sticker is from Little Star Plans, and it says spend, spend, which is exactly what I do at Target every time I go. Um, then at the bottom of the full box, I used a little things with a um, sashimi sticker from Plans with the Nest to mark that I had sashimi for lunch. And then one of my chores on Saturday was to wash all the dishes. So I put down a girl washing dishes sticker from Sun Fun Stickers. I did a workout that evening, so I put that on a quarter box, and the shoe sticker I think is from Planner Frenzy, I believe, and then at the very bottom I had just enough space for a scallop, so I put that down there with a TV sticker from the kit to mark that we watch TV. On Sunday, I first put down the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it, and then I went back to Saturday and I realized that I didn't put down a glitter header on Saturday and I try to use one every day. So what I ended up doing was cutting down the full box and just kind of scooting everything to make room uh, for the glitter header. On Sunday, I put a glitter header at the top first, then I used a quarter box with an upload sticker from Love Shira to mark that I think I uploaded either my haul or my plan with me. I used a yellow to-do header with a two hard checklist to mark that we went to Ikea and then went and got groceries. And so the box sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. And I think it's perfect for Ikea because we, I think we bought like a desk chair. And so there were definitely a couple boxes that we had to bring home. I took a nap when I got home, so I used a half box. That Nap Queen sticker is from MJ and Hope. I think it's super cute. And then um, to make space to mark everything I wanted, I had to cut off just a little bit of the full box. On top of that, I used a cardio sticker, which is also from MJ and Hope, to mark that I did a cardio workout that evening. Um, at the bottom, I used a little things to again mark that we watched um, Hiori's Bed and Breakfast, which was the show that we were super obsessed with at the time. And then on top of that, I just filmed and journaled. Um, so to mark that, I used a huge uh, Coffee Monsters Co. filming emoji. I go back to my sidebar and just fill in all of my happy moments and my dinners. Um, sometimes I like to track happy moments by the day, and so I'll put down one thing each day, and then other times I just like a complete list of the entire week and just the happy moments that happened that week. So that's pretty much it, and here is my spread in full. I'm now just showing you these stickers that I have left, which um, is crazy because for a three page kit, I actually still have quite a lot of stickers left over. I guess it's because I did pull in a lot of stickers from my collection. Um, but anyways, that is it for today's plan with me. I love how this turned out. I love using the smaller kits. I feel like I've really veered from that recently and I want to try to go back to that because I love the amount of white space I get when I use a smaller kit. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. So um, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will talk to you next time.
拜。